We've talked about Gaussian elimination, uh, where we bring a matrix to upper triangular form. Um, there's a theoretical construct called the reduced row echelon form, has this uh, somewhat complicated name, um, where we go even further than the uh, upper triangular matrix. We basically go all the way um, to possibly the identity matrix. Here, we won't go to the identity matrix, but the idea is that you use these pivots to eliminate not just below the pivot, but also above the pivot. So I think the easiest way to see what the reduced row echelon form of a matrix is, is to work an example. So I take this uh, rather funny looking matrix, matrix as an example, 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, 5, 6, 7, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then let's bring this matrix then to reduce row echelon form and see what it looks like. So uh, we start with pivot. So that's the uh, pivot again. Um, we, and we want to eliminate all of the numbers below the pivot. So that means uh, we multiply the first row by minus 4, and we add it to the second row. Uh, maybe it's helpful if I put the multiplier next to the row so you can see what we're doing. Um, so let's go. So we got 1, 2, 3, 4 in the first row. And then we multiply by minus 4 and add it to the second row. So we got our 0 here. Then minus 8 plus 5 is minus 3. Minus 12 plus 6 is minus 6, and minus 16 plus 7, right? Minus 16 plus 7 is minus 9. Okay. I have to practice my arithmetic here. Um, and then we want to eliminate the 6. So in this case, we're going to multiply by uh, minus 6. So let me just write the minus 6 here so you can remember. So then we get a 0, right? That's the point, 0. So minus 12 plus 7 is minus 5. And minus 18 uh, plus 8 is minus 10, right? And then the last one will be minus 24 plus 9 uh, will be minus 15. OK. Um, now we have our new pivot. That's our minus 3 here. Uh, but remember, uh, what can we do with this matrix? We can um, switch rows, which we don't need to do here. But um, we can also multiply rows by constants. So you see the second row has a common factor of 3, and the third row has a common factor of 5. So we might as well make our algebra easier and just divide the second row by minus 3 and the third row by minus 5. So let's do that. Then the uh, first row is still 1, 2, 3, 4. The second row then becomes 0, 1. And then uh, we're dividing through by minus 3. So we have 2, 3 here. Okay. And then the last row, we divide through by minus 5. So we have 0, 1, 2, 3. OK, so that will make our algebra a bit easier. Um, so we have our pivot. Our pivot here is a 1. Um, and we multiply the uh, second row by minus 2 here. Here's the multiplier and add it to the first row so we can eliminate the 2. So that will go to um, 1, 0. So here we're eliminating both above the pivot and below the pivot. So that's the difference with Gaussian elimination, where we only eliminate below the pivot. So here, minus 2, so that becomes 0. Minus 4 plus 3 is minus 1. And minus 6 plus uh, 4 is minus 2. The second row is 0, 1, 2, 3. And the third row, 
Well, the third row is the same as the second row, so that's rather unusual. We can multiply the second row by minus one here and add it to the third row, so the third row just becomes zero, right? What does it mean that two rows are the same? It means that the equations they represent are the same, so you can just get rid of one of the equations, so that whole row becomes zero. So this is called the reduced row echelon form of the matrix. Uh, so we, we write reduced row echelon form, right? Reduced R, row R, echelon E form F, R, R, E, F, of our matrix A, then becomes this matrix here, 1, 0, minus 1, minus 2, 0, 1, 2, 3, and 0, 0, 0, 0, okay? So this will be a, theoretically, this will be an important uh, type of matrix to uh, take a matrix and then bring it to reduce row echelon form. Um, the key here is that the pivots, these are the pivots. The pivots are supposed to be all one. Okay, so pivots become one, and you end up with zeros uh, below and above every pivot. Okay, that's reduced row echelon form. Uh, these two columns that have pivots, right, only two of the columns have pivots. Two of the columns do not have any pivots. The columns that have pivots, what are they called? Pivot columns, okay? These are called pivot columns. Okay, so this matrix then, the original matrix, has only two pivot columns. So let me review. The reduced row echelon form of a matrix is what you get when you use this process of row elimination similar to Gaussian elimination, row elimination, to convert this matrix into columns that have pivots, where the pivots are one and zero above and below the pivot, and columns that don't have pivots, okay? So pivot columns and non-pivot columns. Uh, later, when we do more theoretical uh, things with vector spaces, we'll see why it's important to know uh, given a matrix, how many columns are pivot columns, how many pivots are non-pivot columns. I'm Jeff Chasnoff. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.